Hello YouTube, Krog Dog here, and today I am going to be plastic dipping the hard top to my Miata. Now, first off, I want to apologize. This isn't the video that I wanted to make today. Um, I'm kind of disappointed. Um, so I was at AutoZone earlier today uh, to pick up a few things, and they were completely sold out of Tweety Bird seat covers and Yosemite Sam mud flaps. So that's really what I wanted to do, but um, I had to settle for the Plasti Dip, you know. Maybe we can do those mods another time. But as you can see, it's red, and my Miata over there is white. So I'm uh, gonna match it with the Plasti Dip. I've never used Plasti Dip before, uh, so I'm interested to see how this turns out. Um, the paint job on this hard top isn't really very good. Uh, it's got a lot of chips in it, some little uh, bubbles in the paint, uh, a bad masking job. So eventually I am going to have it repainted properly and take the window out and, and do it that way. But um, I wanted to see what all the fuss is about with the Plasti Dip. So uh, I got a few cans here of Plasti Dip, white, flat white, and then some of this Glossifier with Fade Buster. So, gonna match it at least in color. Um, the paint job on my Miata is not a factory color. It's a very, I don't know if you guys see those sparkles in it. It's got a lot of flake, uh, glittery silver flake in the, uh, in the paint. So at least match it in color for now. So I've got it all masked off. Um, it's a little windy out, but uh, if it keeps up, I'll move it into the garage. Uh, hopefully not though, it's really messy in there. But uh, all right, here we go, let's do it. All right, so I taped it off a little bit better than I did before. And uh, I washed it again, because the cats were hanging out on it. Uh, Wax remover degreaser, cleaned it up good, and we are gonna go ahead and put the first coat on. See how she takes it. All right, so I kind of dusted on the first coat here. Uh, I still got quite a bit left in the can. Um, and I've got a few backup cans, so no worries there. Um, I'm just gonna try and go for the, the few light coats and build up a nice one and see how it turns out. All right, so I just finished up with the white. I've done, I think it was eight light coats with the white. Um, I used a total of two and three quarters cans. Um, I saved a little bit in my third can just in case I need to do touch-ups. All right, ups. so I just finished up putting a clear coat on it. Uh, it looks pretty good. Um, next, I'm going to remove the masking. I'm going to cut along that windowsill uh, very carefully with a razor. So I went around the edge very carefully with my razor. And you can see uh, the masking is coming off with a nice even line. So in between your coats of Plasti Dip, uh, it is a good idea to clean out the nozzle of the can, and you can do that uh, just by holding it upside down, squirting a little bit till it comes out clear, uh, and then you know that your nozzle's clean, and uh, you're just going to want to wipe off the tip a little bit there to make sure nothing builds up on the tip. Oh, this looks like it turned out pretty good to me. Uh, got a pretty nice even line all the way around the window there. Uh, a few little spots I can go around and touch up um, with a razor. But uh, pretty satisfied with the way it turned out. Uh, let's see, it's about uh, not quite 40 bucks worth of Plasti Dip and tape. And doing it right here in my driveway. Uh, pretty satisfied with the outcome. And if I decide I don't like it, I can peel it the fuck off.
So I am pretty satisfied with the way it's turned out. Um, it obviously does not match uh, because like I said before, the paint on my car is this really sparkly silver glitter paint. Uh, so the top uh, definitely matches in color at least, which is nice. Um, I used about a little over two and a half cans of white on the top and then uh, about two cans on the top on it uh, for a clear coat um, like I said I would eventually like to have it painted to match I didn't really like this uh, sparkly white paint at first but it has kind of grown on me a little bit um, I actually ordered a vintage Mazda badge to replace that MG badge there uh, the previous owner of this car is an antique car collector who lives in town and uh, He's got a, a MG graveyard, tons of old MGs, but um, he sold this Miata to me. He won it in an auction on eBay and uh, had it shipped up here to Maine from Texas. And uh, in the time it was being transported, he ended up buying another Miata that he liked better. Um, so I wound up with this one. All right, let me know what you think. Uh, first time I've ever used Plastidip. Uh, definitely easy stuff to work with and definitely did a pretty good job and if I don't like it I can just peel it the fuck off so that's pretty cool too